morning sliders and after scrolling through all my social media apps my instagram my snapchat youtube <laughs> i am finally kind of awake i'm gonna get changed and just splash some water on my face and then we'll get on with the first thing now in a perfect world you'd wake up seven in the morning and do a workout a full blast hour workout but you see it's not a perfect world we're currently all in lockdown and have no excuse to not reply to that person's text so it's actually 9 a.m in the morning i'm about to do my workout this is the first thing you can do but you know if it wasn't for this video yeah, i'm telling you i still have i still have four hours of sleep left in my body this is for you guys actually i've actually tried to take this quarantine thing and turn it around and for me to implement um, working out every morning <laughs> it's not been working out really well but one step closer you know it's 9 a.m it's the earliest i've ever woken up this week so let's get this workout in chloe ting where you at minutes later y'all so i haven't been consistent but i have been trying a lot of new things and one of them is i challenge myself to do 100 squats every single day for a month i'm on day today's day 11 for 100 squats and let's do those 100 squats right now today someone was telling me that i don't speak swahili enough on my channel that was my swahili that, that one was for you my people <laughs> now I'm gonna take a highlighter and cross 11 out to 11. It's done. Ooh. So I'm gonna go take a shower. Let me try to do this transition thing. The shower is done. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling more awake. So I'm gonna talk while I do my edges just to get ready to go make breakfast. So just bear with me. When I started this video, I said that this quarantine thing is really fucking up my sleep schedule and it's really really bad. I sleep between 1 and 4 on a good night and I've actually slept at 5 before. And you guys, I, I don't know what I want. It's honestly becoming so bad for me because there's no order in my life like i can't believe i'm about to say this but i miss school because at least i knew from this time to this time i know what i'm supposed to be doing now i wake up I'm like what am, what what do i you see I'm, I'm just confused i like working with tasks and i like having a schedule like someone already made it for me because if this is how uni life is going to be i'm actually not going to survive because apparently you only have like three classes the whole day so you you only know where you are for like four hours of the day and then the rest you have nothing to do so this is a wake-up call i kind of am learning from this quarantine thing and these edges are not turning out really nicely but it is what it is and these online classes can you guys just comment down below and tell me how they're going for you because they're not going so well for me <laughs> like you have the whole day can you can someone please explain me this you have the whole 12 hour day to take of my life yeah you choose the earliest morning 8 20 in the morning we have to be in class 8 20 for what what do you gain honestly but i'm lucky i'm a senior like i feel sorry for like my sister and stuff because like she's still a freshman and she still has all of her classes for me i only have like two classes that i'm working on out of eight because i'm graduating <laughs> actually scratch that i don't know if even i'm graduating we got an email like two days ago that you guys be aware that we, we might be preparing for a virtual graduation and i'm like If you're watching this in your class of 2020, we'll get through it. Guys, actually, today was the day that my prom was happening. 
and i know someone who someone who watches this is probably gonna be thinking oh people are dying from corona why are you sad that you aren't at prom you should be happy that you're at home but these are valid points of sadness like hey chai, i'm sorry one second i didn't realize i was putting you guys through that back to what i was saying i am allowed to be sad for the things that you know these are huge milestones everyone wants to go through you know everyone every parent wants to see their child grow th through this it's just like a rite of passage and that is taken away from us and we are allowed to feel sad so let me feel sad while i do my edges because this is all i have to do right now be sad and do my edges see you guys in the kitchen we in the kitchen. I actually wanted to have like sausages and eggs for breakfast, but like I came down and my household already boiled the sausages and everything. But I'm gonna take over and make up something. We go fry these sausages. They're already boiled. If you're hearing that sizzling noise, the the pan is already on the fire. I'm just putting some oil. You know, us Africans, we were playing when we said Corona can't catch black people. Now look who's laughing. <laughs> Anyways, you know, actually, I think being at home has made me discover things about myself that I didn't know. The first one is I actually love being at home. I don't think I've been with my family this consistently every single day of the week. It's been two weeks now of quarantine. This is the third week, actually. I kind of discovered who they are in this process, and I'm like, thank you. Going back to these online classes, you know how many emails I've gotten from my teachers? Oh. You did not attend today's Zoom call. Please email me and exactly what happened. There is no excuse. You know how many times I've had to say I set my alarm for p.m. instead of a.m. That's another thing Corona has done to me. It's turned me into a liar. Oh. You mother cannot. The sausages are done. I'm just gonna let them sit. And I'm going to reduce the heat and take off the oil from the pan because your girl is about to chef up some scrambled eggs. You're gonna take off work and crack six eggs in here. And guys, please clean up after yourselves. Like, literally, after everything you do, put them in the bin. You know why? I'm just like one of those people who cleans up while they're cooking. So I'm just gonna put you. If you don't fucking do that, because that means you're unhygienic and dirty. So chaffle. So I'm just gonna take a pinch of salt and do it at the top. Sprinkle some black pepper. And we're gonna whisk it. We're going to be using chisel for milk. Just boop. And then we're gonna add some like, chili. Hey guys, I saw this post like you should drench your fingers in like, chili to protect yourself from the coronavirus. It doesn't do shit, like it doesn't kill the coronavirus, but it stops you from touching your face. I'm just gonna pour the eggs. I'm gonna take a block of cheese and a great grater and I'm just gonna grate this on top. I'm gonna use this side. Now I'm gonna take the spatula thing and just turn everything over. Bring it from the outside to the middle. Outside to the middle. Outside to the middle. I'm gonna serve it in a nice bowl, a nice glass bowl. This is how my breakfast looks. Just for aesthetics, when I feel like something is missing, I'm going to add an orange. I just like my, my plate to look full and healthy in some certain way with a glass of juice. I'm currently having my breakfast. I added a chapati. I'm going to be catching up on Money Heist. This season is amazing, so if you guys are watching it too, comment down below. Tell me where you guys are at. I'll see you guys later. Guys, we are back in my room. So the next thing that you guys can do during quarantine is go on Omigo. Actually, I already have a video on me speaking to strangers on Omigo. I asked them for life advice, so if you guys haven't watched that, it'll just be linked up here somewhere. I know social distancing is keeping us from seeing like other humans, other people, and I'm not gonna lie, I miss having other people around so this is just a nice way to stay at home and still be in contact with the outside world and also be really really entertained hi whoopi gober is that you it's not whoopi goldberg <laughs> how's your quarantine going so far uh pretty good it's it's been it's been tough you know it's been a tough year you know mm -hmm. i can imagine oh no uh how do you stop 
Yanni, this is what you guys are doing during quarantine. I'm 15. <laughs> he said he. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing good, staying safe from the coronavirus? Yes, yes, hope you are too. Oh yeah, the same I'm writing new music, trying to anyways. You're a musician? Uh, what is that, yeah, the uh, band, band, band skate. Oh, that's so cool. Can you play something for me? That's my band there. Can you play something for me? What do you want me to play? Anything, your favorite yeah, song. What do you want me to play? Anything? Yeah. Um, I play a song that I wrote. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. That was really nice. That is enough <laughs> for me go for today. I guess from that you guys have seen how busy people get during this time. I'll catch you guys on the next thing you can do during your quarantine. I'm back and this is the look I finished creating. Another thing that you could do during quarantine is make a face mask. I'm gonna be talking to you guys while I take off my makeup and then you start. Let me tell you how satisfying it is to take off your makeup after a long day of doing nothing. Taking off your makeup is like really a time for you and yourself. You know, just to erase the whole day out of your face. It's really relaxing and you know, it's just you and you here all alone. And I also have a celebratory warm moment right now. I can officially say from two days ago that I am a pro at putting on eyelashes. My eyelash game has become so strong. Nobody could actually beat me. You know what I'm saying? All right, my face is clean and ready for this face mask. So, face, face mask. Before you guys quote me on this amazing face mask, let me just tell you, okay, I've never made a face mask before. I haven't done any research on if this face mask, face mask will even work. So what I have is a turmeric. I'm just putting in ingredients that are very popular that I've heard to put on into face masks. Half an avocado. So beautiful. I have lemon, I have apple cider vinegar. A lot of people I'm sure have heard about putting honey in face masks, but <sighs> one thing you should know about me is I hate honey with another level of passion. Honey is literally the worst thing ever created by God. No, please, please God forgive me. I can't touch it, I can't be around it. It's it's not a vibe. It actually smells like ass. Yeah, I'm just gonna put barely a tablespoon. I'm gonna just smash it with this fork. I really hope this turns out well because I actually want this mask to work. As you guys can see, like my skin is actually really, really dry. So if I've actually just created a concoction that is going to solve all acne, then I am a legend. I actually had such a fun time doing everything that I've shown you guys because that was obviously just a plan for the video, just to make a video, but me actually doing it. I actually can safely say that I had so much fun just making masks and working. Okay, I barely worked out, but that's different, okay? So this is where I managed to get the avocado too. I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Look how green it is. And like the way my face was like super, super tight from washing my face. I think this could actually work. This actually looks like some expensive skincare routine. This is how much I have left of the thing. And I actually have me some cucumbers. Yo, you guys, I don't know why I just feel like cheating myself. <sighs> um, <laughs> guys, I'm actually gonna be tempted to sleep. I have to end the video here. I'm going to sleep in this mask for the next half an hour. 
so i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any more ideas of any more videos you'd like me to do please don't hesitate to comment down below let me know your thoughts follow me on all of my social medias don't forget to leave this video without subscribing see you next video